welcome back to Beauty Butterfly. I love getting my hair colors. I love getting my hair dye. I love getting vibrant colors. I had it all done. I first started with blue and pink highlights. Then it just went underneath the hair. Then we just decided to do my whole hair so i've been doing get my hair color for like the last past six years i started back in 2015 and my hair used to be like this long and it grown to like back down to where i almost had it as you can see in the photo so we're gonna get into that so let's go over the talk with going to a salon i go to paige reese i've been with jen since middle school so and high school and that was like 2006 then if you fast forward to 2015 that's when i started getting back into the hair colors so I know Jen for a very long time and I definitely trust her with my hair so the questions I remember asking her when I first got my hair done are these vibrant colors gonna stick in my hair she said she was not sure and she said one girl had colors and it didn't stick it just washed out so I'm lucky enough for over the last six years that the colors work I'm lucky that my hair is strong healthy and grown very long the next thing you want to tell the salon it goes for haircuts any color in your hair perm straightener any type of chemicals you put in your hair box dye you also gotta let them know because if you're doing anything with hair and you're mixing chemicals together you can get a chemical burn on your head you can fry off your hair damage your hair so bad where they may have to cut your hair especially if you love your long hair and say if it, this all got damaged right here that would all have to be cut off and you would have to let your hair regrow then if it's like really damaged really bad that means you would have to get it cut really short and start growing your hair all over again so i'm gonna save you guys some time and not do that and try not to bleach your hair at home because anything could go wrong especially you don't want your hair to be falling off or frying off or damage so i am not sponsored these are what i bought today at jen's at page reese is reckons so this is color management hair color this will last me for like the rest of the year or more this is the dry shampoo. I will get more into details in the next videos with the tips. But if you're using dry shampoo, use it three or four days. So you take the, what Jen said, take the dry shampoo bottle, hold it like this, then flip it, then spray and section your hair. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. Make sure it's like where that is and spray and just slightly massage it in as well so that's another tip as well so always make sure you ask the salon or you can always ask beauty sally's beauty as well what shampoo they recommend you if you get blonde platinum blonde they may tell you purple shampoo or they may tell you if you have one color you can actually maintain it by 
mix in some of your conditioner and say your hair is completely blue or pink or yellow, red, whatever your heart desires. You just take the small dab and small dab, mix it in the bowl and just conditioner in your hair and your color will stay fresher that way. Definitely get it bleached at the salon. So the next tip, you wanna make sure they're friendly, nice and upfront now the picture on the right side of me that's my hair that i recently got done now every photo is going to look different your hair is going to look different in lighting and it depends if you have dark lighting low lighting natural lighting so if i turn this down obviously my hair does not look like that in the photo so do not get mad at the salon if their lighting is kind of low and stuff but make sure it's the right colors that they use and that you want and it may not look exactly like the photo but however as long as the colors are vibrant with anything, if you get platinum blonde, just remember low lighting makes your hair look darker. Bright lighting, it will vibrant up. So you definitely want to be asking questions. You want to get to know the salon, show them the picture. Say you want a certain type of haircut, a pixie cut, short haircut, a shave type. Say if I want it this shaved over here, make sure you show them a picture so they can get a detail or layers in your hair. Just make sure you ask them as well. It goes if you're even not coloring your hair, it goes for haircuts as well. And I can understand if they say, yeah, they can do it and they cut it wrong. I can understand you guys getting frustrated and mad. Or say you ask for platinum blonde instead of putting platinum blonde in your hair, they put honey blonde. So that I can understand. Like if you ask for a yellow on top, a red or orange and a yellow or red on the bottom and they stuck the red yellow and orange i can see a frustration on that so if they do something like that then they're not actually a salon you want to go to find another salon explain to them and let them know what they did and they will let you know if they can bleach it now, if you're doing platinum blonde hair, that is a no, another process in itself because um, once a week you would have to go to a session because the darker your hair is and your roots, it takes like, maybe it depends, it could take up to four weeks, it could take up to six weeks. And it is going to cost you some money depending on what hair salon you go to. So be, make sure they're upfront with you on the cost. Another thing you want to make sure with your hair salon. Some hair salons will ask you for the money upfront. The only reason why they do that because some people will forget to go to their appointment. And you're wasting their time of making money and working on other customers' hair. So make sure you know their policy as well. And like for mine, Paige Reese, if I cancel, I have to make sure I let them know within that week. If I cannot go like a 24 hours notice. Because if it's the day of getting my hair done, you will get charged money.
and it's basically kind of wasting their time as well but otherwise hopefully you guys find a great salon that can work with your hair if you're getting vibrant colors light brown caramel hair fall color hair summer color hair any toning blonding whatever and just remember if it does not look like the photo and you feel like it's too dark just remember it could be the lighting also in the salon and like if you go around brighter colors so bright lights so if i come up closer obviously you can see more of the vibrant in my hair So yeah, if I go outside at nighttime, it's not going to look that vibrant. If you go out on a sunny day, it's going to look vibrant. And I will get in the next video on hair colors and maintenance on that one. So I hope you guys learn and do not take it out on the salon if they did it correctly. I can understand if they did your hair wrong then you can tell them so always be open and honest with them and make sure you trust them with your hair and if you do not feel like you're comfortable with that hairstylist they may have other employees that will fit what you're looking for or if that salon seems shady then just go try to find another one. Just be careful of looking for views of salons because some people cannot, will not be honest. Some people will be like, I highly recommend you go to this place. And they could be wrong. Some people will sit there and be like, they were mean, they were horrible and nasty. Thank goodness I have a friendly salon Jen's been doing my hair since middle school, since throughout my high school, since 2015. So here we are six years later still coloring my hair and I'm like 36 right now. So yes, my hair is strong and healthy. Always make sure that's another key part you want to ask your salon. Ask them if your hair feels healthy enough to get your hair dyed, straightened, perm, curl. If it has like dry, crunchiness, they probably would not dye your hair. I don't know, like if you use black hair dye, that's going to be hard to get out. So definitely let them know. And if you go full black with your hair, just remember that black hair is going to be hard to pull out. And blues are hard to pull out as well. And purples because they're darker. So, yes. So, as coming as a longtime customer and knowing hair info and with the salon. So just check out your local salon and if you're going to do anything of vibrant color, I recommend you to get it bleach first at the salon. It will save you a lot more money. It will save you on your hair. You won't ruin it. And I'm not sponsored. You can get Arctic Fox at Sally's Beauty. You can get other hair color, Manic Panic. Brown Mondo, any hair colors that will work in your hair. And if you don't know what to get, you can always ask them as well. Just, and I will give you guys more video tips and stuff in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the salon video of what to ask and what not to do. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I am Beauty Butterfly Hair Colors, so...
rocket hair. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Anybody can get their hair done. Just live your best life. Alright, love y'all. Bye for now. What you see is what you get.